Yusuf alayhi salam went through something right at the beginning. An innocent child. People were jealous of what? What he looked like. Subhanallah. They were jealous of his looks. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Handsome fellow. Secondly, they were jealous of his connection with his father in particular. Why is our father favoring him? But there was no favoritism. I tell you what, I'm a father of quite a few children. Some of them are seated in your midst, mashallah. And I can tell you a fact. You love each child almost the same. At that stage of the, their lives, when the others were younger, they were loved in a similar fashion. A similar way, if you're a little bit older and you see your mom or dad kissing the little baby, more, mm, mwah, 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 you know, it doesn't mean they didn't do that to you. They did it. But now that you're older and you're watching that, doesn't happen to me. Hang on. Do you know it did happen to you? Probably more than this. But now that you're older, don't allow yourself to feel that I'm not loved. But anyway, shaitan creeps in all the time, makes us think things that sometimes don't exist. And as a result, we tend sometimes to do wrong to those who are innocent. That's the other side of it. But on this side of it, people do things wrong to us when we're innocent. It can happen. It has happened. It shall happen in the future. It did happen. And it is happening probably now to a lot of people. So that's the beginning of the story. It starts off with a dream and so on. But from the negativity, it was the jealousy. لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيدوا لك كيدا. Powerful point today with social media. Here, use Yaqub, Jacob, the father of Yusuf. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon both of them and the, all the messengers. He is telling his son, don't even relate the story to your own brothers because they might plot against you. Today, we relate our tale to the entire globe by putting it on social media. Wow, do you see the difference? And then when people plot and plan against us, we say, look at this, but you asked for trouble. Didn't you? According to this lesson, it may not be haram to show a few things, but it is definitely wrong to brag, to boast, to show off, and so on. This was not even showing off. It was a dream the man, ha the boy had. His father saying, don't tell your brothers because they may plot against you. It's my fear. The shaitan is real. In the shaitana. He says shaitan. He doesn't blame the kids. He says the devil, shaitan is an outright enemy of man. So my brothers, my sisters, it's very clear. When you show off, it's worse than just relating things. If we're taught to hold back from relating certain things that are not necessary for the world to know because they may plot your downfall, what about those things that people definitely would burn about? And you and I know that. We're living in an age. Some of us do it and wallahi, I won't lie to you, in order that others burn, let them burn, post it. Didn't we say that sometimes? Astaghfirullah. Let them see what I've got. Let them see. Yeah, it's not. Relax. Here is a beloved father. He is the father of a prophet. The son of a prophet. Yaqub, Jacob. May peace be upon him. And he's telling his son, You had a nice dream. Beautiful. Don't narrate it to your own brothers. Don't even narrate it. With us guys, we will post a dream. Oh, I had this dream and that dream. It's okay. We're not prophets and there was no Jacob to tell that to us, right? But at the same time, doesn't it teach us a little lesson to say, hang on, not everything needs to be posted. Not everything needs to be told to the world. Sometimes if you have reason to do it, or there's a closed circle of people, you know they will be happy for you. You may say, mashallah, you know, we went to the Maldives. We really had a terrific time. And every moment I made dua that you came to. Allahu Akbar. You see there? MashaAllah. You're thinking of someone else as well to say, every moment I was there, I went to Mecca. And every round I said, oh Allah, bring so and so. If there's a name, MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. That having been said, it's not haram. I'm not saying it's haram to show certain things. No, it's not. But I'm just saying we need to use our discretion and be wise about it. And remember, there are people out there who don't have what you have. There are people out there who perhaps are struggling, who want to achieve a certain thing for the last 20 years. And you came in five minutes, you did it. Do you not think that the heart is going to be hurt? 
There are people who don't have what you have. What are you going to do? The minimum you should do is to make a dua for them, to pray for them. Today we will be also speaking about the underprivileged across the globe. The minimum you should do is to pray for them, to dig into your pocket a pound or two or five would definitely make a difference.